हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 1.4 चैप्टर 1 इंट्रोडक्शन इन द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडायनेमिक्स फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडी स्टॉप एंड मिकोंकी स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज 1 किलोग्राम ऑफ अ फ्लूइड एक्सपेंड्स रिवर्सिबली अकॉर्डिंग टू अ लीनियर लॉ from 4.2 bar to 1.4 bar the initial and final volumes are 0.004 cubic meter and 0.02 cubic meter the fluid is then cooled reversibly at constant pressure and finally compressed reversibly according to a law qv is equal to constant back to the initial conditions of 4.2 bar and 0.004 cubic meter calculate the work done in each process and the net work of the cycle sketch the cycle on qv diagram so first of all we will write the given information in this problem mass is 1 kg means it is unit mass of fluid is used and pressure p1 initially is 4.2 bar pressure p2 after expansion is 1.4 bar initial and final volume means v1 is equal to 0.004 cubic meter <coughs> and v2 is 0.02 cubic meter also the expansion and compression happens or occurs according to linear law so pv is equal to constant this is the law given in this problem we have to find the work done in each process means work done from 1 to 2 work done from 2 to 3 and work done from 3 to 1 and then we will find the network of the cycle also we will sketch these processes on the pv diagram so first of all we will for better understanding of this problem we will first draw the pv diagram of this problem however it is required in the last we have to sketch the cycle on the pv diagram but if we don't discuss it in this earlier stage so the solution of the problem is meaningless so first we will discuss this pv diagram in order to clear the solution of the problem so this is the pv diagram from 1 to 2 is the expansion according to the linear law pv is equal to c we will find the work done for this process and from 2 to 3 is the cooling process at constant pressure there is no change in pressure as it is clear from this 2 to 3 process 
no variation in pressure. 3 to 1 is again compression according to the linear law PV is equal to C. P1 is given 4.2 bar initially before expansion and after expansion P2 is also given 1.4 bar. Volume V1 initially is 0 0.04 cubic meter and volume V2 is 0 0.02 cubic meter. This volume V3 is unknown and we will find it during solution. So coming to the solution of this problem, we will first find the work done from 1 to 2. So for that, from the PV diagram, the work done from 1 to 2 can be expression for this work done will be minus P V2 minus V1 plus 1 over 2 P2 minus P1 into V2 minus V1. We also know about that area under the curve on PV diagram represents the work done. So this is based on that criteria. Here we have some values are given in this problem and all of these are known to us. So putting the values, the work done from 1 to 2 is equal to this pressure is actually P1 pressure. So minus P1 is 1.4 bar and we will convert it to Pascal's. So we, will, we will multiply a factor of 10 to the power 5. V2 is given, V1 is given. So V2 is 0 0.02. V1 is given which is 0 0.004 plus plus 1 over 2 P2 is 1.4 bar minus P1 is 4.2 bar also converting bar into Pascal, P2 is given which is 0 0.02 cubic meter and V1 is 0 0.004 cubic meter. So when we simplify these values, the work done during expansion from 1 to 2 comes out minus 4, 4 eight zero newton meter also to find the work done from two to three during cooling process for that work done two to three the general expression may be used minus m integral from two to three into P D V. So M is one kg, and for this W two to three becomes equal to P is constant during the process, so it will be equal to minus P V from V two to V three. Because the integration and differentiation will cancel each other. So, <clears throat> as we know that V3 is missing, so first of all, we will find the value of V3. So, for that, 
first of all we will find the value of c so c value can be found from p1 into v1 so c is equal to e1 is 4.2 bar and v1 is 0.004 cubic meter also converting it into pascal 10 raised to power 5 will be multiplied with this so it can comes out 1680 pascal cubic meter per kilogram so the value of c is 1680 now to find the value of v3 v3 will be p3 v3 will be equal to c so putting the value and solving it for v3 it will become c by p3 so p3 and p2 are same in this case which is 1.4 so it will be 1680 by 1.4 into 10 to the power 5 simplifying this the value of v3 comes out 0.012 cubic meter per kilogram so as we know in this problem the unit mass of the fluid has been used so there is no difference between specific volume and volume we have same values for both now coming to this again let's suppose this is expression a so the work done from 2 to 3 will be equal to minus putting the values directly it will become this p is actually p2 so it will be equal to 1.4 into 10 to the power 5 into v3 minus v2 v3 we have found it calculated 0.012 minus v2 is known to us which is 0.02 cubic meter so simplifying this we get 1120 newton meter so this is the work done from 2 to 3 during cooling process from 3 to 1 also we have to find this work done so work done from 3 to 1 is equal to in expression form we can write that generally minus m from 3 to 1 again p d v this is the general expression so m is 1 1 kg so putting p is equal to c by v this is the linear law according to this linear law the compression again occurs reversibly so putting this value we get 3 to 1 p will be replaced by c by v c is constant and it will it will be written like 1 over v into dv so sim applying the integration integrating this we get minus c minus sign will be there minus c natural log of v which is the specific volume from v3 to v1 so putting the limits work done from 3 to 1 comes out c is known which is 1680 natural log of 
v3 is known v1 is also known so it is 0 0.004 divided by 0 0.012 is calculated so simplifying this the work done during compression from 3 to 1 comes out 1845 newton meter so to find now the network of the cycle so the network of the cycle is equal to work done from 1 to 2 plus work done from 2 to 3 plus work done from 3 to 1 so we all knows about these values from 1 to 2 is minus 4480 newton meter plus this is 1120 newton meter plus this is 1845 so network value is 1 minus 1515 newton meter so this is the required network for this problem also we have to plot the pv diagram for this problem so we discussed the pv diagram in the very early stage because before this the before discussing this diagram we can't understand this problem very easily so it was discussed in a very early stage and this is the required pv diagram for the problem 1.4 so this is all about problem 1.4 thanks for watching please like and comment on my videos also subscribe my channel to get new videos